Pole Zion, also spelled Pole T Zion or Poali Sijon, meaning workers of Zion, was a movement of Marxist Zionist Jewish workers founded in various cities of Poland, Europe, and the Russian Empire in about the turn of the 20th century after the Bund rejected Zionism in 1901. Topic: <laughs> Formation and early years. Pole Zion parties and organizations were started across the Jewish diaspora in the early 20th century. A branch of Pole Zion came into existence in New York City in 1903. Branches were formed in London and Leeds in 1903-04 and 1905 respectively and on a national basis in 1906. An Austrian group was formed in 1904, and published a newspaper, Yiddisher Arbeiter. In November 1905 the Pole Zion, Workers of Zion Party was founded in Palestine and a month later the Socialist Jewish Labour Party Pole Zion was formed in the United States and Canada. In March 1906 the Jewish Social Democratic Labour Party Pole Zion was created in Russia. In 1906 a formal Pole Zion Party was formed in Poltava, Ukraine, under the leadership of Ber Borachov and Itzhak Ben Zvi, and other groups were soon formed elsewhere in Europe. A French group was formed, under the leadership of Marc Jarblum, which was influential on the SFIO and its leader Leon Blum. The key features of the ideology of early Pole Zion were acceptance of the Marxist view of history with the addition of the role of nationalism, which Borachov believed could not be ignored as a factor in historical development. A Jewish proletariat would come into being in the land of Israel, according to Pole Zion, and would then take part in the class struggle. These views were set out in Borachov's R Platform, published in 1906. A World Union of Pole Zion was formed. The First World Congress took place in August 1907 in The Hague. Its Second Congress in 1909 in Krakow emphasized practical socialist projects in Palestine. Further Congresses followed in Vienna 1911 and, 1920 and Stockholm 1919. In Ottoman Palestine, Poale Zion founded the Hashomer Guard organization that guarded settlements of the Yishuv, and took up the ideology of conquest of labor and avoda ivrit Hebrew labor. The first formal congress of the Jewish Social Democratic Workers' Party in the land of Israel Poale T. Zion was held in early 1907. Poale Zion set up employment offices, kitchens and health services for members. These eventually evolved into the institutions of labor Zionism in Israel. By 1907, the party had 25,000 members in Russia. During World War I, Pole Zion was instrumental in recruiting members to the Jewish Legion. Pole Zion was active in Britain during the war, under the leadership of J. Pomerantz and Morris Meyer, and influential on the British labor movement, including on the drafting by Sidney Webb and Arthur Henderson of the Labour Party's War Aims Memorandum, recognizing the right of return of Jews to Palestine, a document which preceded the Balfour Declaration by three months. Pole Zion in Britain formally affiliated to the British Labour Party in 1920. The American Party was led by veteran socialist Zionist thinker Nachman Sirkin. Whilst the Bund was forcibly disbanded in 1921, Poale Zion and Hechelutz were allowed to operate freely in the Soviet Union until 1928. <laughs> <laughs> Split Pole Zion was torn between left and right factions in 1919-1920, which formally split at the Pole Zion Fifth World Congress in Vienna in 1920, following a similar division that occurred in the Second International. The right wing was less Marxist and more nationalist, and favored a more moderate socialist program and supported the International Working Union of Socialist Parties to continue the work of the Second International, essentially becoming a social democratic party. The left-wing faction did not consider the Second International radical enough and some accused its members of betraying Borachov's revolutionary principles although Borachov had begun to modify his ideology as early as 1914, and publicly identified as a social democrat the year before his death. Pole Zion left, which supported the Bolshevik Revolution, continued to be sympathetic to Marxism and Communism, and attended the Second and Third Congresses of the Communist International in a consultative capacity. They lobbied for membership, but their attempts were unsuccessful, as the internationalist communist movement under Lenin and Trotsky was opposed to Zionist nationalism. 
The Comintern advised individual members of Left Poale Zion to join their National Communist Parties as individuals. At their 1922 Danzig Conference, these terms were rejected by the party and the Comintern declared it an enemy of the workers' movement. Poale Zion Left opposed the decision by Poale Zion to rejoin the World Zionist Organization, viewing it as essentially bourgeois in character, and viewed the Histadrut as reformist and non socialist. Aside from differing attitudes towards Zionism and Stalinism, the two wings of Poale Zion parted ways over Yiddish and Yiddish culture. The left was more supportive of the latter, similar to the members of the Jewish Bund, while the right bloc identified strongly with the emerging modern Hebrew movement in the early 20th century. In Palestine, the major leaders of Poale Zion since their immigration in 1906 and 1907 had been David Ben Gurion, who joined a local Poale T. Zion group in 1904 as a student at the University of Warsaw, and Yitzhak Ben Zvi, a close friend of Borachov's and early member of the Poltava group. After the split the two Benham, the Bens, continued to control and direct Poale Zion right in Palestine. The party in Palestine split into right and left wings at its February 1919 conference. In October 1919, a faction of the left Poale Zion founded Myfleget Polim Socialistim Socialist Workers Party which became the Jewish Communist Party in 1921, split in 1922 over the Zionist issues, with one faction taking the name Palestine Communist Party and the more anti-Zionist faction becoming the Communist Party of Palestine. The former retained its links to Poale Zion left. These two factions reunited as the Palestine Communist Party in 1923 and become an official section of the Communist International. Another faction of Poale Zion left, aligned with the kibbutz movement Hashomer Hatzair, founded in Europe in 1919, became the Mapam Party. Poale Zion Right, under Ben Gurion's leadership, formed Ahdut Havoda in March 1919. In January 1930 it merged with another party to become Mapai, predecessor of the modern Israeli Labour Party. In Russia, the Poale Zion left participated in the Bolshevik Revolution and organized a brigade of Poale Zion activists nicknamed the Borachov Brigade to fight in the Red Army. The party remained legal until 1928 when it was liquidated by the NKVD. Most other Zionist organizations had been closed down in 1919, but Poale Zion Left remained untouched because it was recognized as a communist party. In 1919, the communists of Poale Zion Left split to form the Jewish Communist Party which ultimately joined the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, leading to a sharp loss of membership in Russia. In Poland, for a brief period following the war, both factions of Poale Zion were reported as legal and functioning political parties. The Polish Left Party was the largest left Poale Zion party in the world. It worked closely with the Bund in developing Yiddish schools in Poland and supporting secular Yiddish culture, although they had political differences e.g. the Bund was more supportive of the Polish Socialist Party than LPZ. As part of the large-scale ban on Jewish political parties in post-war Poland by the communist leadership, both Poale Zion groups were disbanded in February 1950. In Austria, the left faction was led by Michael Kohn Eber, who joined the Austrian Communist Party in 1938. The right faction also remained active until 1938. In America, the right faction was dominant and initiated the National Labor Committee for Palestine, raising money for Histadrut. Globally, Poale Zion, under the leadership of Shlomo Kaplansky, was involved in the 1921 formation of the centrist International Working Union of Socialist Parties. Then, between 1923 and 1930, the World Union of Poale Zion, i.e., the PZ Right, joined the Labor and Socialist International as its Palestine section. As of 1928, it claimed to have 22,500 members in branches around the world, 5,000 in Poland and the United States, 4,000 in Palestine, 3,000 in Russia, 1,000 in Lithuania, Romania, Argentina and the United Kingdom, 500 in Latvia and another 1,000 scattered across countries such as Germany, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Belgium, France and Brazil. The General Secretary of the World Union of Poale Zion at the time was Burl Locker. The World Union had a women's wing, the Women's Organization for the Pioneer Women in Palestine. Ihud <inaudible> <inaudible> Alami 
In 1932, Poale Zion's World Federation merged with Hittadat Alamut, the World Union of Hapoel Hatzair and Zayre Zion, which had been formed in 1920, to create Ihud Alami, the World Union of Zionist Socialists. In this period, several well known Zionist leaders and politicians were active in Poale Zion, including Ben Gurion, Ben Zvi, kibbutz movement leader Yitzhak Tabenkin, Jewish agency executive member Shlomo Kaplansky, and future Israeli politicians Moshe Sherat and Dov Haas. The Holocaust The Holocaust-era Jewish resistance group Zob was formed from a coalition including Hashomer Hatzair, Dror, B'nai Akiva, the Jewish Bund, various Jewish communist groups, and both factions of Poale Zion. Poale Zion was also active in the anti-fascist bloc. Several notable Jewish resistance fighters during the Holocaust, particularly those involved in the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, were members of Poale Zion. They include Adolf Berman, Warsaw Zob fighter, secretary of Zygota, Poale Zion left. HERSZ Berlinski, member of Warsaw Zob command, Poale Zion left. Yochanan Morgenstern, member of Warsaw Zob command, Poale Zion right. Emanuel Ringelblum, member of Warsaw Zob, chronicler of the Warsaw Ghetto, Poale Zion left. Topic: Poale Zion's legacy. After World War I, David Ben-Gurion integrated most of Poale Zion right in Palestine into his Ahdut Havoda party, which became a PI by the 1930s. The Poale Zion left merged with the kibbutz-based Hashomer Hatzair Workers' Party of Palestine and the urban-based Socialist League of Palestine to form Mapam in 1948, which in the 1990s merged with two smaller parties, Rats and Shanui, to form Meretz. In 1946, a split in Mapai led to the creation of another small party, Ahdut Havoda, Zion Workers, which united with Mapam in 1948. In 1954, a small group of Mapam dissidents left the party, again assuming the Ahdut Havoda, Zion Workers name. That party eventually became part of the alignment in a 1965 merger with Mapai and later included Rafi and Mapam. In 1992, the alignment became the Israeli Labour Party. Several youth movements have emerged out of Poale Zion, the Marx Hashomer Hatzair the largest, with 70,000 members on the eve of the Holocaust, the socialist Habanum Dror, the left Poale Zion's Ugent, and Zir Zion. In North America, Poale Zion founded the Hehelutz movement, the Farband and Habanum Dror, and later the Labor Zionist Organization of America, which merged with other groups into the Labor Zionist Alliance, which rebranded itself in 2007 as Aminu. U.S. Poale Zion published a Yiddish newspaper, the Yiddisher Kempfer, and an English journal, Jewish Frontier, edited by Chaim Greenberg and Marie Serkin. In Britain, Poale Zion rebranded itself in 2004 as the Jewish Labour Movement. Internationally, the Poale Zion right is represented within the World Zionist Organization by the World Labour Zionist Movement, the group, to the left, of the WLZM within the WZO as Mapam's successor, the World Union of Merits. Meretz and Mapam are both members of the Socialist International and, since 2013, the Progressive Alliance. See also Jewish Communist Labour Party Poale Zion Jewish Communist Party Poale Zion Jewish Communist Union Poale Zion Poale Agudat Yisrael Myfleget Poale Zion via Hugum Hamarxistum Biritz Yisrael Labor Zionism Gordonia Farband Jewish Left Topic References Topic External Links Midistweb, A Brief History of Labor and Socialist Zionism the BER Borachov Internet Archive at Angelfire The BER Borachov Internet Archive at MIA BER Borachov, The National Question and Class Struggle, 1905 Poale T. Zion, Our Platform, 1906 — Founding Program of Poale Zion, sets out its analysis, at Jewish Virtual Library 
B. E. R. Borachov, The Economic Development of the Jewish People, 1916 Pole T. Zion Peace Manifesto, 1917 B. E. R. Borachov, Eretz Yisrael in Our Program and Tactics, 1917 Levick Jessel, Biographical Note on Borachov, 1935 A Description of Pole Zion Split Abraham Ducker, Theories of Borachov Part II, 1937 more detail on the split. <laughs>